This is the fifth part of my robotic uh, vacuum cleaner experiment. As you can see it here, I've done a lot of uh, modification. The previous one, the third part, does not have any uh, proximity sensor, infrared proximity sensor. This is the right proximity sensor using infrared. And here's the left proximity sensor. I also installed a new mechanism, new tires, and a new uh, drive motors. There are two batteries now, powerful batteries, 4.6 ampere hours, and a long range video transmitter. Aside from these modifications, I modified the circuit of ultrasonic sensor so it will respond almost uh, the same as the infrared sensors installed on this. It can run now much faster and much better maneuverability compared to the previous mechanism. Told also switch, selector switch for remote control and for computer control. This is selector switch for remote control operation and computer control operation and the uh, previous one the third part of this uh, experiment does not have a voltage regulator for uh, Raspberry Pi I think with a heat sink now there's a heat sink here crudely designed just to prevent the 5 volts regulator from heating up. As you can see now that uh, there are more additional cables installed outside which of course this is just a prototype for the sake of modifying it quickly the cables are not yet organized so I can easily modify it from time to time I'm gonna show you how this infrared proximity sensor works. I power it up and you can see it here. If I place an object in front of the sensor, there is an LED indicator that shows that there is an obstacle on the sides. The same way on the left side sensor. It's very responsive. As you can see it here. You can hear the click of the relay together with the LED display, LED uh, lamp. This is the prototype which I softly uh, fabricated. And this is the one which I professionally designed using a software designer PCB design software and fabricated in one company which I intended this device I'm going to intend to sell on sell on the internet as you can see it here it's a lot better than what I fabricated here at home this circuit is originally originally designed by me 
and uh, you will not find a similar circuit design on the internet. I'm gonna sell this uh, device soon on my website. Which uh, I'm going to mention earlier, later on. This is also the relay board which I modified. This is also uh, I'm going to be sold on my website. This is similar, almost exactly the same in terms of circuit on what I installed here. It uses eight relays. use 8 relays and LED indicators. I just modify the arrangement. This is the name of my uh, the company I'm now establishing. Kids and Gadgets Electronics Incorporated. But my website is kits-gadgets.com. This will be available very soon on my website. I'm going to design other more circuits for this uh, robotics project. Now, now I'm going to show you how the autonomous program works for these sensors. The autonomous uh, program routine that I incorporated in my program, overall, overall program, is not yet uh, fully functional because it only senses front and rear sensor. I did not uh, design yet the program so that the right and left proximity sensor will uh, function. Usual, as usual, is still uh, using the same program I designed. But I've done so many uh, modifications on many of the routines. Now it's separating using my keyboard. I controlled it uh, using my keyboard. Just, you can see it using the keyboard. You can easily maneuver it and it expanded quickly. I like the previous part. Now this is a computer control. I'm going to show you now the remote control. I'm controlling this uh, robot using the remote control. This is my very cheap robot uh, uh, remote control which I bought uh, together with the mechanism of the car installed on this uh, robots project. This is very short range. I need to flip some switch here. That's it.
let's go back to uh, computer control And to flip back again the switch here. Okay, that's it. Let's see my keyboard. Now to show you the autonomous program This is now, auto this is now the autonomous program taking place It is sensing the obstacle You can see it here, this is the autonomous program. Right now, it, the active sensor is only the front and rear sensor. You will notice that the LED here this is responding according to the program routine. Now to cut up the program, I need to press stay space bar. That's it. And to activate the autonomous program, you need to press P on my keyboard. Let's see if so maybe in the following uh, part, I will incorporate the right and left function sensors. So to uh, detect the obstacle on the side.